Hey, this is Logan. I'm going to show you how to replace a motor on a Hubson X4. The reason I knew the motor was bad is when I flick them like this, this one back here doesn't quite spin right. Now, it still spins, but the thing just won't quite fly right. And sometimes if you have one that's not spinning at all, that'll indicate a bad motor too. But this one I can just tell it's on its way out, so it's time to replace it. So a small jeweler's screwdriver, and then take these three screws out right back here. Okay, you got the back off. And now you'll notice the motors have different color wires going out of them. And it's important to match the wire color with the new motor you're putting in. Otherwise your motor will burn out quite a quick quite quickly. There we go. Pull the motor out. Okay, we got a fresh motor. Just to kind of tin the ends, get some fresh solder on there. Feed these two. And mine is going to be black. Rest the wire right on top of the uh, little solder pad right there. Get your soldering iron nice and clean. And bam, that's all it takes. And I got a pretty big tip on this one too. It's not the needle fine one. You can still do it with the medium sized tip. The trick is having the wire pressed up against the, the solder pad before you touch it with the soldering iron. And that's it. Now I give them a little tug to make sure they're on there secure. Put this wire back in place. Press your motor down. Put your section back on. And bam, good to go.